hey hi guys so today i'll explain you like uh, how we can uh, set an inbound rule to vms and uh, then how we can allow a traffic in a virtual machine so here i'll show you an example like i'll just install that nginx in open to vm and then i'll uh, show you in that uh, browser chrome browser like how you can access that application so current by default like all the ports will be closed but if you are installing something on some particular port in a vm then that service you can access directly with the public ip of the vm and then uh, with the port on which that service is running so maybe i'll just go to the vm first so that for that uh, service to be installed you need to create a virtual machine that i already explained in my previous video so that you can check if you guys don't know about that how we can create azure vms in uh, azure cloud right so this is the vm which i created for this demo so to connect to the vms we have uh, we can directly use this uh, cloud cell so we i am having this public ip and uh, then Yeah, so I'm successfully able to log into this uh, open to VM. Yeah, so now what I'm doing is with the help of APT package manager, I'm trying to install Nginx on this server. And then what I'll do is like I'll just uh, enable the port on which this nginx is running i'll enable it and then i'll directly access on my browser right so here it says like that uh, nginx is installed so we can check the status of nginx with the help of this command in ubuntu system ctl status nginx and here it shows it is active right it is active and up and running so by default nginx will run on 8004 port so maybe we can check that as well whether that nginx is running on that same port right sorry okay so currently this tool is not available so maybe i'll just install it Alright, so I have installed this. So, Nginx, you can see like on 80 port services, Nginx master is running, right? So, now that Nginx is running, but if you will try to access with that uh, public IP and 80 port, right? 80 port you will not see that nginx page this is because that uh, port is not op open right so this is the reason why you are not able to load nginx page in your browser so in order to make it work what we need to do is we just need to come to our networking section in this virtual machine and in inbound rule Just open up this zero port.
yeah so now if you will see here you will be able to see that engine x page right so now this page is loading and that 80 port is working because we have enabled that 80 port on that nsg of that vm so here we we said that just enable that 80 port from anywhere right so anywhere means if we'll hit that port from our public internet to that ip and port we'll be able to reach to the nginx so this is this is Normally, like this procedure, we will follow for, to test our application if something we are running on a VM. So now, so this one I just enable it for a testing purpose. Now again, I'll just disable it or I'll just delete this rule. Yeah, I'll just deny it and save it. Right. So. Now, once I'll update this, once I'll close this port, again you will not be able to access uh, and this thing. So this thing, it it's not just for that 80 port. Here you can you can you can enable any port on the VMs. The only thing is that service should be running on that particular uh, particular uh, particular port. So currently, like here, we are running uh, Nginx. And Nginx by default will run on 80 port. Now, if we'll run some other services on 80 port or any other 4452 or any port, right? So that port we need to enable on our uh, NSG, and uh, we'll be able to access it with that public IP and uh, port. But make sure, like your VM is having public IP. Without public IP, you won't be able to access that. Uh, Put either that public IP or some public access you need to have with private IP. You won't be able to access in your public uh, internet. So here, if you will use your private IP, means this will not be able to recognize. But same public IP will be recognized within your network. So let's say you are in your uh, VM, right? So here, if you will give. Uh, like uh, that private IP and 80 port. Even if you will not mention the port, that is okay because by default HTTP port is 80. So here you can see welcome to Nginx. It is giving us that HTML when we are hitting that page, right? So within the network, that private IP will work, but outside that network, this will not work. Here we need to have a public IP, then only it will work. Yeah, so I hope you like this video. If you have any queries, any doubt, you can always reach to my comment section. I'll read your comments, and I'll be happiest person to help you on that on your doubts. Thank you so much.